So the charged pulse cannon in Rage 2 can be found in the Shrouded Vault Arc, which is located at the far east side of the Dune Sea region at the bottom left hand corner of the map. Once you get there, you'll need to do a couple of things before being able to open the door. You need to head to these two locations, which are the Shrouded Substation Alpha and the Shrouded Substation Bravo, and destroy the reactors inside. Both of these are located right around the corner from the Ark. For both of them, you just have to head inside the building and flip a pink switch, which will bring out the reactors. And then you can use your power ability thing, which is LB or L1 on console, to open up each section and then destroy the core inside. Both reactors have three little sections that you have to open, so just open them up and destroy the inside, and the reactor should should be destroyed. And for Substation Alpha, the big doors don't open up, you have to go underground through a ladder, which the ladder is located right in front of the doors. And then for the Substation Bravo, the big doors will already be opened. Once you've done that, the substations should have a green check mark on them, meaning you've completed the main objective. If the markers are gray and have a check mark, that just means you collected everything inside also. So now you can head back to the Shrouded Vault Arc and go inside where you'll find some enemies, and after taking them out, you should come to an elevator. Head down to the elevator and you'll find a big room with a pink switch. Flip that switch and then head to the right to enter the room where the Ark was just dropped down. There will be quite a bit of enemies in here and after taking them out, you should be able to open up the Ark to get the charged pulse cannon. If you can't open up the Ark, that means there's still enemies somewhere in the area. Once you get it, it should give you a tutorial, but basically, to use the charged pulse cannon, you just shoot it with the normal shoot button, RT, R2, left click, and use LT or L2 or whatever you ADS with, I'm assuming right click on PC, to cool it down. The pulse cannon does more damage while it's overheating, which you can see in the center of the screen while shooting it. If it's in the red, it's overheating, meaning it's doing more damage. If the bar gets all the way to the end, it'll fully overheat and have to cool down. So basically, your goal with this gun is to keep shooting with it in the red, but keep cooling it down before it overheats. But that's pretty much it. See ya. With